Hi, welcome to Good Reader's Review. I am Anya and this is my review of The Light Pirate by Lily Brooks Dalton. If you already read this book, write down your honest review in the comments section below. This book is 336 pages in length and written in English. The book publication date was December 6, 2022. This book genres belongs to fiction, science fiction, literary, fiction, dystopia, contemporary, fantasy, magical realism, adult fiction, and adult categories. The Light Pirate by Lily Brooks Dalton is a novel about a small town in Florida that is facing the challenges of climate change, including rising sea levels and powerful hurricanes. Frida has been through a devastating hurricane once when she was younger and is always terrified as they approach but especially now that she is pregnant. Her husband Kirby is focused on preparing their home, boarding up the windows, and making sure they'll be safe. As an electrical line worker, he knows he'll have to check on the lines, as well, that's his job. He leaves the boys, Flip and Lucas with Frida, and soon after she begins to experience labor pains, so she goes to lie down and rest. Meanwhile, the brothers leave without telling her, and when Kirby returns, there is a new member of his family, a daughter, Wanda, whom Frida names after the storm that summoned her birth. Everything changes for Kirby and his family on that night. All the loss surrounding so many is devastating, but there is also a generosity of spirit by those whose loss is replaceable. A broken window, a car smashed by a fallen tree, and loss of electricity. These are nothing compared to the loss of human lives, to losing those that you love. As Wanda grows and attends school, she is taunted and ostracized for her name and its association with the hurricane that arrived as she was born. At one point they come dangerously close to worse when a group holds her underwater. What happens makes it apparent that she has a gift, a gift that even she doesn't understand. Separated into four sections titled Power, Water, Light, and Time there is so much more to this story. So much beauty in these pages, and also much desperation as living in this place becomes untenable. There are few who have the skills necessary to survive what will come. Little by little, homes are left vacant, businesses abandoned, and life changes drastically. As time passes, Wanda loses other loved ones, but finds comfort in nature, even as it rapidly changes. The world has forever changed, but still, somehow, she holds on to hope. Slightly more than six years ago I read Lily Brooks Dalton's Good Morning, Midnight, one of those books that quietly seep into your heart and soul, and is so beautifully written, so when I saw this one, I knew I wanted to read it. This one stole both my heart and soul completely. I found the same sense of quiet isolation, that same sense of serenity despite the chaos, as well as the author's ability to pull me into this story completely. I really recommend this book. A beautifully shared, powerful story. And if you really want to read this book, you can take it from the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please feel free to give it a thumbs up or share it with any other fellow.